All right, for this one, I'll state once again, the cal edit is not my thing. So if I fumble through this like every other one I've done, that's why. <clears throat> but for this one, what we're gonna do is just a little simple stuff. Most of you guys, Dan including you, most of you guys don't run your smog pump or your Thermac or your EGR. So what we're gonna do is go through there and get rid of those. So, EDR system type. What do we want? The only way that I know how to put these, since I don't know Cal Edit, I don't, in binary editor that I use is just a switch. You say it's on or not. So, what we'll do is we'll go in to binary editor, find it. I'm gonna look for a system type. We got system type. What you notice a lot is I use even before I had binary editor, I was using Eek editor. I use binary editor a lot. It's a really, really nice, easy way. It's a lot more user friendly. So here we go. We got in binary editor air EGR system type. It's disabled. So it's a switch in binary editor, like I said, but at least down here in the description it tells you zero is sonic, one is pressure feedback EGR, and two is no EGR. So once again we'll go over to Cal Edit. We got EGR system type, we got a two in there. So that gets rid of the EGR. We'll go down to Therm Actor. Thermactor air controlled logic. Once again, two and this one it doesn't tell you. So, oh, let's see. Thermactor present. Oh, it's the same here. It's just a switch, disabled or enabled. So once again, I don't know the code for the switch, but assuming that it's the same as the EGR, I might be wrong, but go in here and set that as a two also. So now the ECM isn't looking to control either of those. Now, another thing that I also did in yours, Dan, just to open it up to let adaptive have a better chance of controlling it, which it looks like actually we are pretty close anyway, but I opened up the adaptive control max and the min. Oh. And actually, look at this, it looks like it got goofed. Max should be point or 1.25. This should be 0.75. So, well, it's a good thing that uh, we're pretty close because <laughs> the ECM would only been allow allowed to change up to 0.25. So, we'll have to save that and send you this as a new tune. On top of that, now what we want to do, since you now have the the correct injector settings in there and the correct MAF sensor settings, MAF transfer. As far as we know, it should be pretty close and it seems like it is. What we'll do is we've gone in, I've gone in and the fuel open loop. Let's see. Is it not scrolling? Okay, there we go. Open loop multiplier. Open loop fuel multiplier global. In the stock tune, it's like 0.96 or 0.98 or something. But since you have the right settings in there, we are going. We I put a one in there, so it'll zero it out, so it doesn't multiply anyway. And the wide open throttle fuel multiplier. 
There's another thing. Actually, you know what? That is a function. Wide open throttle fuel multiplier versus RPM. And this is all ones also. That, this one varies. Um, let's see, we can actually find out what it is. We'll go look at my stock tune. Let me show you the differences. What it is factory wise. There you go, in stock it's 9096949795949494. So instead of using the math transfer curve or the injector settings, they went in and used the multiplier. So now that we have the right settings in there, it's all zeroed out, so you're not getting any multiplying through that. So that's what we got. That was that's the remainder of what's been done to your tune. I'll save that one actually now that we know that. Let's see, we'll save that in this. And I will get that emailed off to you.